My name is uh, Chief Ifayemi Elebuibo, the Araba of Ushobo land. Uh, I'm an author, playwright, and a poet, Yoruba poet. I'm a dramatist. Also, a balis diviner known as Babalao. I was born into this religion. My father, Ba Akini De Akondi is a hunter, a, a, a brave hunter. Our ancestor are uh, one of the co-founder of the city of Ushobon, Ulutime. My father has uh, six wife. My mother was the youngest wife. My mother has one male child and a female. But the female child is an abiku. Abiku is a child to born in infants. Her name is uh, Ajitoni, but later he stay after several ifa protection to enable her to stay on heart. When it was time for me to come, my mother used to have a lot of uh, problem, miscarriage. Sometimes there's no pregnancy at all. This make my father to prepare different kind of herb medicine, which to know I fail. But one day they consult Ifa and the old Ifa feel a male child is going to be born. That my mother has to stop using all the herb medicine that my mother need to go to give offering to Oshun water spirits. Fetch the water home and drink water. It was this potent water that make my mother pregnant me. I was inside the womb. Another revelation came that a male child is going to be born, it's going to become a babalawo. His name is going to be known all over the world. It's going to be a cultural reviver. And when I came, on the third day, the three-day ceremony called Esentaye, that is why they pick my name, if I hear me. If I fit me, to buy yemi, you yefa, to buy yefa, you yemi, gerere ni maru, yemande. If it fit me, it fit ifa. If it fit ifa, it fit me. That's where I get the name ifa yemi. They gave me another name, which is called Oshun Dagbun. Oshun reject concoction because it was water from the river ocean that make my mother pregnant and uh, when I was young I was forbidden to take any herb medicine it was this just water they gave to me when I have a fever my mother has to pray Say the prayer song of Oshun, take this because we have a, a pot inside my mother's room where she used to fetch this water, rub my body, give it to me to drink. She put me at her back. In a few minutes, like five minutes, I became healed and I started to play again. This is how I was treated to the potent water of Oshun for about 20 years. It was when I entered the Ifa Grove, Igbodu, 
when I have to make my own Ikin Ifa, that they say Oshun had handed me over to Ifa. So I was allowed to use medicine if I like. So I always use water as a cure. Each time I have a problem, I have to pray to the water and I drink it. And it used to help me. This is how my father started to teach me the art and practice of Ifa at the age of four. And I was with my father until he gave me to another priest where I stayed for 10 years, six months to continue my training after the departure of my father when he joined his ancestor, 1957. In a place where I live, in a Catholic Mission Road, Oshobo, it is an opposite Mbari Mbayo Cultural Center. And people like uh, Professor Ulibaya, Shegun Sofote, Shegun Lushola, Ulibaya, Walesho Yinka, they are the pioneer to cultural revival in those days, and they established in Barim Bayo at Oshogbo Ibadan and Onicha. So it was 1962 during the Ifa Anua Ifa Festival for the King. Professor Ulibaya has an extramural study. He worked at the University of Ibadan. But later he came to Shobo to live. He used to go to all Yoruba traditional festival. He took the picture. He will ask questions. And he came to the Ifa festival of the king Oshobo together with the Ulibaya. I was among young Ifa practitioner that used to recite poetry in Yere Ifa. I have a college, his name is uh, Olani Yi. We as your young and we used to compete among one of one of us that we used to recite Yere Ifa like others. See, this so impressed Professor Ulibaya. And he told Drola Dipo, this boy needs to work with us. And Duro explained to me that uh, this professor said, he want me to come to Mbari to work with them as a cultural advisor. So this is how I started to work at Mbari Mbaya. But it's not easy. My master, my Uluwo, that I stayed to Lani Ifa, did not understand what is called in Bari Mbayo. They did not want me to participate in any drama or working with an Uibo, go with them here and there, do research. It makes no sense to them. Each time I have to go, sometimes I have to sneak out, sometimes I have to lie because my master did not because they see Durola Dipo with his uh, performance of Obakuso when he used to emit fire. They see him as a magician. And my master used to, are you going to become a magician? You come here to learn Ifa, now you want to become a magician. So this is uh, what I've been going through. But however, I gain a freedom under my master. So this gives me an opportunity to work total with uh, Ulibaya. Each time that Ulibaya is collect information for his book, he used to send for me, send me to some other village, collect information for him. He come to me. This inspired me. This is how I was able to, to write book. Just to imitate him, 
use all the information I used to give out, use it for myself. That's how I started to write my books. And uh, I used to write play. When I take a look at our society, I see that a lot of people did not have knowledge of their own culture. They prefer to read the Bible, to take a sample from Quran. All this gave me an inspiration to take a look into how we can educate our society to let them know the real culture about Orisha which they have. This is how I started to write a series of play if I look on Asorodayo. This is a, a Syria I take each Odu and I take lesson from each Odu, I dramatize it. At the first, I speak, I explain the Odu that appear. At close of the play, I tell the audience what they need to learn from the essay that we dramatize today. This program was so popular and uh, it draw a large crowd. It give NTA a lot of uh, audience. So at the beginning, they were supposed to do 13 episodes. But when the audience like it, when they are demand for it, so at least we run the If I Were Looking for about five years, every week, different type of story from Udu Ifa. I also among the uh, Yoruba poet, which uh, late Adebayo of Faletin introduced to radio, radio program every morning, we used to recite a week to mirror the society, what is going on in our society and correct and advise the masses. Among other poetry is Tubo Shumola Dakpo, Alabi Ogundepo, Debai of Aleti, myself, Yemi Elebuibo. So this is how we do Ijin Jiakewi. That one is also another popular program. It was very good. So my first book came in 1978. I traveled to Miami, Florida. I was invited by a group of Cubano, Santero Santeria, Professor Feje Ifatumbi, a Brazilian scholar who used to work at Obafemi Awulowo, introduced me to Miguel Gomez in Miami, that they would like to share my knowledge. They want me to make all of it for them. I deliver a lecture at International University in Florida. During the question and answer, a woman came out of audience, asked, can a woman become Babalao? And I said, yes. The audi that was create a lot of problem in the audience. They have never had such thing. They call it heresy. And uh, there's a lot of radio, TV, and Miami Herald, one of the popular newspaper in Florida, came to cover the event. About three days, they ran an article on Spanish. African Babalao came from Nigeria, say a woman can become Babalao, and the Cuban call it heresy. It was create a tension and a lot of problem. My host became hungry. They say I came to create problem for them. And I told them what I I learned what is true, what we are doing in Africa. 
If they don't do it in Miami, but I know what we have done, where I came from, but they did not understand. I gave a, several examples what happened to Oshun, Oshun as a first uh, woman liberation, everything like that, but they did not understand. They, in my absence, they even call late Fagbe Mia Janaku, the Arab of Lagos, told him that uh, a Babalao came from Nigeria and he said a woman can become Babalao. Fagbe Mia Janaku told them, Yeni Elebu Iban is a non eligible Babalao. Whatever I told you, you have to regard it. But this was not put into the matter. The following year, I have to travel as a part of my annual spiritual work lecture tour to United States. Everywhere, every city I used to go, my name used to be in the mouth of uh, all the Cubans and Teros and Terra people. Everywhere where they drink coffee, they make mention my name. All my godchildren that speak language, Spanish, they call me, Baba, this is what they are saying about you. Later, I was uh, invited by San Francisco State University as a, a scholar to come to teach African traditional religion and African philosophy. So I was in the campus. They gave me two years permanent stay. So one day I was in, in my apartment. That is where the idea came. I need to write a book to explain to all these people. That's where we come about about Akbetebi, wife of Omila. This explained the role of women in African traditional religion. And um, I was at the campus. I sent the manuscript to a publisher, a Black Mind Bookstore in New York. Before I finished my uh, assignment at uh, campus, the book is already published. When I came to New York, the atmosphere was changed. All those who used to criticize me, everything was so calm. And uh, since then, there, there was less tension. My relationship within Santero and Santeria. This why I have to develop interest to write many more books. So I write Yere Ifa Poetry, Voice of Ifa, Healing Power of the Sacrifice. The Invisible Power of Metaphysical World, Healing Power of the Prayer, and so many other books. So, that is my introduction. Thank you.